Do you want to know how to work through eBay dropshipping? Then you are watching the right video. Dropshipping is such an amazing opportunity for new entrepreneurs because it allows you to create a pretty passive stream of income without a huge upfront investment from anywhere in the world. But what worked two years ago or even at the start of 2020 just doesn't work anymore. So in this video, I'm going to show you what works in 2021 and 2022 and beyond when it comes to eBay dropshipping and how you can get started with just a laptop and internet. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Vitan, CEO of the Zero to Success Academy, where I teach the people regularly, just like you, how to start your first successful dropshipping store. So, before we can get into strategies that works for eBay dropshipping, I first want to explain quickly what is eBay dropshipping exactly, and the model that we use to see success. In this video, we will talk about all these topics and I will explain the way you can cope with them. First, what's the dropshipping and how does it work? Second, how to start selling on eBay? Third, why do we use eBay? Fourth, types of suppliers. Fifth, difference between wholesale suppliers and retail suppliers. Six, pros and cons of retail suppliers and wholesale suppliers. Seven, how to find a good supplier. Eight, how to list items on eBay. Nine, pricing items. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to leave a comment to support me. Thank you. First, so what's dropshipping? First, we have a customer here on eBay shopping for an item. If she sell, will spend a hundred dollars on an item and you list up for sale, that's your right there. Once she purchased the item from you, then you turn around and spend a portion of that money buying the item from your supplier. And then the supplier ships the item directly to the customer. So this means you hold to the inventory. All the inventory is held by the supplier and you don't buy an items until the customer buys the item. First, you do this once and then you do this again and again and again. And that's the basic model of eBay dropshipping. Second, how to start dropshipping on eBay. So the first thing that you are going to need to start selling on eBay is an eBay account. So just come over to ebay.com and click on the top left where it says register. And the cool thing about this here that eBay is free, so you don't have to pay anything here. Three, why do we use eBay? There are plenty of other places to sell online like Amazon, Walmart, Bonanza, Etsy. Why exactly eBay? Well, eBay is the pretty much the easiest place for the beginners to get started. They have a very low barriers to entry, meaning they don't require a lot of you to set up an eBay account. And other sites like Amazon require a lot more. In addition to that, they have less strict metrics that you will find on websites like Amazon. Now, that doesn't mean that you can just go in there and make a complete mess of things. But it does not mean that you can mess up a little bit and they are not going to ban you right away. They give you some wiggle room, pay you. So that you know, it's not going to tank your account. So whenever people ask me what they should start with as a new seller, I am always recommend eBay. It's a lot more forgiving and a lot more beginning are friendly. Now the second thing that you may need is a PayPal account. Now PayPal account is also free, so you don't have to worry about that, but you will find that most people eventually are not going to need PayPal accounts because eBay is getting rid of PayPal. If during the eBay setup process, eBay asks you to link up your bank account, then that means 
you are on eBay managed payment, that's their payment proceed and you don't need a PayPal account. But if you don't link up your bank account during the setup with eBay, then yeah, you got to sign up for a PayPal account like I said it's free. So not a big deal. They are all right now that you have your account set up, you have to start looking for items, but before you can do that. Step number four, types of suppliers. You have to figure that suppliers you want to use for your business. Now there are primary two types of suppliers we use for the dropshipping. First, we use retail suppliers and second, we use wholesale suppliers. Five, difference between wholesale supplier and retail supplier. Well, retail supplier are other detailed websites like walmart.com, Home Depot, Costco, Sam's Club, pretty much any website where you can buy things from as a customer, you can potentially drop ship from that website onto eBay. Now, wholesale suppliers, on the other hand, usually don't have a retail website where you can buy items from as a customer. So if you think about the chain of the production, we have a manufacturer. They then sell their items to a distributor or wholesale supplier, and then the wholesale supplier sells items to the retail store and the retail store sells it to the general public. As a dropshippers, if you are doing retail dropshipping, you fall between the retail store and the customer. You fall right in there. But if you are doing wholesale dropshipping, you are buying directly from the wholesale supplier, so above the retail stores. Six, pros and cons of retail supplier and wholesale supplier has a huge benefit because it's been going on for a long that we have a lot of software that we use to automate. It's very easy to automate using the software. So everything from listing the items to repricing them, to restock them, then can be done without any manual work on your part. But there are some benefits for wholesale primary that it's a little bit harder. So there is a less competition, fewer people doing it, and then margins are much better because we are going up higher in the chain of the production, see every step through the chain of the production, the items become more and more expensive. So if you can buy directly from the wholesale supplier, then you are going to get better price. Now, the drawback of the wholesale is that it's a little bit harder to set up with retail. It's very simple, but with wholesale, you get to get agreement with wholesale supplier you have to reach out to them and that's a higher barrier to try. But that doesn't mean fewer people are going and less competition come. The other benefits to wholesale is that it's complexly 100% load by eBay. Whereas with retail dropshipping, technically the rule states that you are not allowed to do it. Now, what happens if you do retail dropshipping? Well, we found that eBay does not ban you from doing it. They don't kick you out. All they do is take those dropshipping listings and lower them into search results. But they are doing that for everyone who is selling the same items and because retail dropshipping is so easy to automate it and scale up kind of almost doesn't make a difference plus they are a way to avoid eBay from even know what you are doing in the first place. So maybe asking yourself now, pay it well, which one do I do? I do retail dropshipping, I do, I do wholesale dropshipping, I do boot because boot works. So I'm not going to tell you one is better than another one. But if you want to be super safe, if you want to avoid any sort of issues, if that's what you want, you need to go with wholesale. Because we know for 100% certain that it is a load. And if you want to create a second account and do retail in that account, yeah, 
you could do that and you are going to see results with that as well. But for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you wholesale because I want to show kind of what the future kind of looks I like with eBay dropshipping. So now that I have decided to dropship using wholesale, 